All right, everybody, welcome to the Zabe Cast, brought to you by Linen Kugels. Get your lineys today and enjoy. Zabe here, Scott Lynn, Low Def, and Al Galdi is back from his long vacation. Right, welcome back, you. Daddy. Beautiful I missed stuff. you guys. Oh, I missed you. We badly. missed you. You took how many days in a row off? Uh, six work man. days, yeah. You need more of this, man. It was fun. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed Good, it. I especially enjoyed Big Poppy being revealed for the fraud that he is. How about that, huh? Excellent. That's... Not excellent news, but uh, it's nice to see another loud mouth. so Arius. Yeah, exactly. David Arius when he was with the Twins, mm-hmm. and then became and He was David Ortiz or- with the Twins as well. Uh, well, why did someone call him David Arias? It's his mom's. It's a family I think name. He was li- I think he was listed on his bubblegum card and or in media guides as David Arias. I think when he was drafted by Seattle before the Twins, he was David Arias. Okay. But as a twin, he had Ortiz. He was Ortiz, yes. Back. Okay. Okay. He, uh, he couldn't hit Jack. Yep. When he was with the Twins. He, 27 he years old, was twin. released. And then he goes to Boston. And he becomes the most released or thrown feared. as a Dave Hollins trade. Was that with Boston and Minnesota? Well, okay. He he was released and then he was picked up and then he was traded, I believe. Whatever the case. However it was. He was he was, he was, he was a throw in and he was released in a span of a couple of years because they thought that was a dry hole, a dry well. Then he goes to Boston miraculously for a period of let's say ninety seven to two thousand and six. How many years is that? Nine years almost? Yeah. Yep. Uh, becomes the most feared clutch left-handed power hitter in the game. Especially these last four years. Yeah. Unbelievable numbers. Absolute monster. And then goes ice cold to start this season, and people are going, what the hell's happening? And do you remember the story maybe a year or two ago about him having an irregular heartbeat or a rapid heartbeat? No. Do you recall this? No, but he did. I, I remember this coming up, and I remember, I, it might have even been you who made a kind of a passing remark. Like, hmm. Yeah. Hope that's not because of anything going in your body. It shouldn't be, right? Right. right. Just like when uh, Giambi had exactly. that strange growth, it was not a tumor no, on his not pituitary gland. Right. It's not the tumor. Well, what is it? I'm not saying. It's private. Okay, then. Hey, you look skinnier. How come? I lost yeah. six pounds. Looks like Brandon Walsh at spring training. <laughs> Brandon Walsh. <laughs> so, Big Poppy and Manny. And they caught the clubbies, yeah. Jerry Remy's kids Remy's with roids, kid. last freaking year. <laughs> it's official. They're the Roid Sox. They are the Roid Sox. Are they the only team that was dabbling no. or using heavily? No. 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 But that's a lot of stuff to get pinned on you. Bad. 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 Bad stuff. And other teams that weren't using enough roids didn't win, but they did use enough. And they won. Now, what do you think Kurt Schilling thinks about this? He has been the most pious. Has anybody been to 38 pitches? Hillary them in the town square yeah. guy. He was teammates with these guys. Mm-hmm. He could have known something at the time. Maybe. Or maybe, maybe. chose not well, to Well, you know. know what's interesting, too, is that Kurt was that way, and then when he went to testify in 05 with McGuire and Sosa and Paul Merrill, he, yeah. he, he sort of backed down a he little did, bit. He did, huh? Yeah. He didn't get real chesty. And I wonder if, if he kind of woke up to the fact that a lot of his, his teammates may have been doing it. Yeah. Uh, there's a taint on those titles. Definitely. Can I say taint on the so You can say whatever you want on the podcast, of yeah. course. Okay. Taint. It's a taint on the titles. Mm-hmm. Sorry. It just is what it is. And don't angrily email me about, oh, what about this? What about that? What about that? No, it's there. Because there's too much going on now, and there's too many guys that are like, okay. Now I start wondering about guys like Trot Nixon, a guy who had amazing pop for a relatively small guy that was not super muscle. Oh, the Kevin Millar's very- clean, right? <laughs> What's that noise? How about, how about, I mean, not that we're, we're just going to throw out names. Yes. How about Bill Miller winning the batting title yes. right. in 03? Miller's he in the He becomes Ty Cobb. Yep, exactly. Throwing out names is the funnest thing to do in baseball now about steroids. Yeah, it really is. What about, you know, thin guy. Real quick on the Ortiz name. Apparently it was a Mariners screw-up. David Ortiz was signed by the Mariners, who then listed him as David Arias, possibly not understanding Spanish naming customs. Oh, boy. Uh, and then the Mariners received Dave Hollins from the Twins for a player to be named. That named that player to be named was eventually Arias, but when he arrived in Minnesota, he's like, look, my, my name's David Ortiz. So 
He, right. he just undid the screw up, if you will. All right, very good. Well, it's good to have you back, Goldie. Thank you. Nice to be here. And uh, steroid use will continue in the shadows of baseball until further notice or people are caught. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time.